Hi, I'm Tom Kerr, the editor of Truth and Plenty, and I hope you can hear me okay. I'm speaking a little louder than usual because the river behind me is a little louder than normal. We've gotten a lot of rain that we needed lately. You may have heard me say before that if I go out of town and I'm not sure what the weather was like while I was gone, I don't have to check the weather channel. I can just listen, and usually this river will give me a pretty good ind indication. We're not far from my home, and it's a beautiful spring-like day, so I thought I needed to get out of the house and uh, take a walk in the woods. But it's also the middle of winter, as you may be able to see. Those trees across the river don't have any leaves on them, so it's unseasonably warm, and I think our weather patterns have been a little a little squirrely lately, so we're probably seeing a preview of uh, more of this kind of thing. But then again, we could have a big blizzard tomorrow, so I'm, I'm lucky enough that uh, I, I, I work independently, so if I wake up and there's a pretty day, I can just uh, declare a day off, and that's what, <laughs> that's what I did today, because I want to take advantage of this walk. I, I'm, uh, it's a little muddy along the bank from all the rain we've gotten, so I, I brought a walking stick with me. I don't know how well you can see that. It looks like it's made out of bamboo. It's about waist high. It's actually made from cane that grew along the Brazos River in Texas, and I bought it from a family of woodworkers there. This, this uh, fellow and his uh, sons and daughters, I think they were kind of at an challenge. They, they couldn't figure out how to make a good living because I believe they live in a place that's pretty remote. And then they started harvesting uh, some of this some of this cane. I, I call it wood because it feels like wood. It, bamboo is a lot lighter than this. This this feels in the hand a little bit more like hickory, but it, although it looks like bamboo, I'm sure it must be related to it somehow. Anyway, they started harvesting this cane and they got a few tools and they uh, learned how to uh, craft these walking sticks and staffs and canes out of uh, the cane grown right in their backyard and made a good living from it. And I've had this cane for at least 10 or 15 years and it's still going strong and it'll be, uh, somebody will be using it long after I'm gone. But I was looking at it today and I was thinking, I'm, I'm no master woodcrafter. I haven't had much experience with that sort of thing, but I could make one of these. If I could figure out how to fashion the top out of maple, then uh, the the big challenge would be to to uh, just just find the right piece of cane, or I could use a piece of hickory, a nice nice straight piece of hickory, and um, it's beautiful. I might if 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 we get snowed in after this uh, brief summer interlude, then maybe that'll be my next project. Anyway, I hope you have a good weekend, and uh, we'll talk soon.